you know, about two months ago, probably back in January, Bluetti reached out to me and asked me, do you want to do another review video? Last year, I did a review on this, the EB55 and the solar panel unit. Pretty cool. Yeah, that was a pretty cool video. Um, I'll make sure to put a link in there. You guys can go back and watch that. But uh, Bluetti, wow, they have sent me two brand new power plants to try out, to review, to see if I like, to show you what they're about, and to see if maybe you'd like to buy one. Now, I'm not telling you to buy one. I won't tell you to buy one. I can only show you what they do and uh, what I think about them. But uh, everything else, that's up to you. So, so stick around if you want to learn more about the Blue Eddy and the power stations they sent to me. This is going to be pretty cool. You know, when they first sent me the email, I had a lot of cool ideas about ways to use this power plant. One idea was maybe go to the Ebon Ice Caves and uh, offer people hot chocolate or anywhere really but uh it's been a few months we finally got the units here in march we did a little testing and as you see from my backyard it's not really nice to go out anywhere right now especially uh where people have been walking a lot so so unfortunately we're gonna have to do a little home testing of my brand new ac60 and b80 from blue eddie so the AC60 comes with the three components you see right there in front. You got your plug-in, because you are going to want to charge this thing. You can charge it using uh, DC power. And in a minute, I'll show you that this thing actually provides DC power. And you, it's interesting, they actually sent me a cord that uh, I could use my solar panel, the one they already sent me. It's a 200-watt solar panel to charge this unit and the other one. So that's kind of cool. So this is the B80 that they also sent me so the b80 is just extra battery power when you hook this up to the ac60 you're going to use this cord one thing i found out um, using these units is that you don't really get a lot of extra power having extra batteries you just have a longer life on the batteries that you already have so say for instance you had two b80s and you hooked them up to the ac60 you could theoretically have power for days probably around 2000 watt hours of power that you could store and if you weren't using uh, high voltage items like heaters or coffee pots or stuff like that theoretically again you could maybe even go for weeks so it's a pretty cool concept and uh, we will do some testing inside and we will go over each of these units individually kind of showing you the features they have like i just said before you can actually hook up two b80s to this unit using these ports right back here and on the front of this unit we've got a dc output that's kind of cool underneath it you've got a usb c port you've got a usb a port two of them actually and over here you got a power button and this does have two different buttons one for dc and one for ac depending on what you're going to use this unit for plus you've got your two plugins pretty cool and don't forget on top wireless charging you got an output of about 15 watts and you know the b80 is pretty simple like i said you got your port on the side that this plugs with on the front you got a cigarette lighter You've also got your USB-C and your USB-A. Power button, DC button, and your input. Say you're going to use the uh, any of the charging, you're going to use that. So these units are really rugged. However, they're really heavy too. Probably not something that you're going to carry around with you. You know, one of my ideas was maybe to take this to Evan Ice Caves or some other outdoor adventure. But to be honest with you, for the weight of them, I'm not going to be lugging these around. I, honestly, I can't even think of a way to carry these, say, into the woods or any other outdoors activity you're doing other than in your vehicle. That's really the only way you're going to travel with these, but I can probably even do this with one hand, amazingly. I'm going to show you this cool little uh, cord here. I was a little confused at first as to how to get this on, but it's actually pretty easy. Give it a little push. On. and let's see we'll go with this port 
Check this out. Line her up. Push. It's on. That's all you got to do. Now with these two units hooked up together, we got about 1,400 watt hours of power. Think about that one. That's pretty cool. Sweet. Let's take them inside and have some fun. End result of a pot of coffee for two hours, I'm at 12%. Now it's time to charge it. Well, 12%, it's gonna be time to use this. It's gonna be time to use the solar panel and let's uh, charge this unit up a little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna run this wire inside all right so these gotta come out and we'll grab that wire that uh they sent us with the new blue eddy system all right well here's the cord for the blue eddy system we're just going to take the red and the red hook them in black and the black Hook them in. And now we're going to take this inside the house so we can see a little better in the darkness. All right, there we go. We've got our solar panel outside plugged in with the power of the sun. We got 169 watts going into this unit right now. Hundred and sixty-nine watts of input. All by using the power of the sun. Now that's pretty cool, isn't it? Now we're about an hour and a half later now. Charged up to 63%. We're bringing in 163 watts. Says I got one hour left of charging, so not too bad. All from the sun. Right now we're pushing about 257 watts. Won't take long to charge it now, and we are using a plug-in inside. So in just about two hours, and using it to make a pot of coffee, I just about used all the power out of that one unit. You've got to remember, I have another unit now to hook up to it, and you know what? I think we're going to make another pot of coffee, but this time, let's hook up both units together and see how much power it uses then. And of course, you know, if you were out in the wilderness, in an area where the sun was shining you could charge all of your units right back up with the power of the sun. Doesn't always have to be from the power lines. So this morning I plugged in my two Blue Ed units. Got them both hooked in together. Should give me about 1200 watts of power to use and we're gonna use it on this coffee pot. See how much power we use. Jemmy is really excited too that we got this new unit. Yesterday it took a long time to make a lot of coffee, but it worked. And having both units hooked in together 
should have enough power to last a long time. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you excited about the new Blue Eddy power system that we just got? Is it something exciting and thinking that your daddy might use a lot? No, this is pretty cool. Using a Blue Eddy. Blue, 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 blue. So this is pretty cool. I got the app on my wife's phone. And you can see it's exactly showing everything identical to what the unit shows. Pretty neat. Click on the battery pack here. Takes you to each pack. First battery is on 67%. Standby. Pack number two. That one's discharged. It's at 78. A lot of interesting features on here. I am not a technical person at all. And I'm not sure if I would even use the app. But here you go. Well, the question is, what else can we power with a Blue Eddy, AC60, and B80 cooked together? Well, let's make a cup of coffee. Oh yeah. Could you could you blend something with it? You could. But can we make toast? Oh yeah, we can make toast. So you'll notice this little CW marking here. That is constant power mode and in this mode the ac60 can run appliances with a maximum power of 1200 watts now bluity set bluity's bluid now this is the setting that you're going to want to use for any kind of heating appliances hair dryers heating kettles in a minute we'll even try a stand-up heater that we have oh yeah you can see they are lit up in there i think it's ready yet We got toast. While it is two units and it is a lot of weight, it's perfect for going camping, for going to do outdoors activities. As long as you don't have to take these a long distance, pretty good. I mean, I'll show you in a minute. We're going to hook up my heater that I use for my birds and uh, see how it does on that. I mean, in the event of a power outage, you just need a little bit of a heat source to go. I mean, honestly, the refrigerator should have no problem being powered by that. I'm not going to unplug it. and It's too much problems to pull my fridge out just to see if it works. I know it'll work. Working on a toaster, working on a, a coffee pot, working on a blender. I honestly cannot wait for the summer to take these out onto Lake Superior to camp overnight using my AC60 and my Blue Eddy B80. Now, it's not for everybody. Everybody's not going to like this. But choice is yours again i'm not telling you to buy it i'm not telling you that you should have it i'm not telling you that your life depends on it but blue eddie sent these to me to review to look at to test and that's what i think i think they're pretty cool what do you think uh oh overload that's not good luckily for me this blue eddie does have a uh, overload system that in case it overloads it will shut off so it doesn't hurt your system. We'll turn it off. We'll turn it back on. Well, that was scary. Well, there is a setting here and it was on three. So let's put it on one and try this again. Cringing right now, aren't you? Cringing, you're just cringing. You're going, no, no, Jason, no, Jason. Don't hit the power button, Jason. Don't hit the power button, Jason. Here's a little lesson for you. Unless you hit this AC button right here, it doesn't actually turn on the power. And then you got to come over here and turn that on. Ding. Okay, we're going to try her again. I mean, this was one of the bigger questions I had is, you know, would it power an actual heater? 
according to this the output right now is almost 600 watts and according to everything I've been reading it should easily be able to push that much so I'm not sure what the overload is about or why it seemed to overload because really at 600 watts it shouldn't and the display will keep turning off uh, if you're not using it it's a way to save power and it will turn off so that's just kind of a warning to you I'm guessing maybe this switch up here because it has a one two three I put it on one it was on three maybe that that was just drawing too much power and you do see here if we kept running this heater we have 0.4 hours left so it's probably not ideal to use this power unit for a heater so let's just turn that off I don't know if I said it before but when charging these units you're going to use these plugins this is the plug-in for your wall adapter this is your plug-in that I used yesterday for my uh, solar there's a fuse in here and there's also a ground plug for some other activities you might want to use it for you know I didn't show this to you yesterday but there's a light that comes on this unit you got a bright light you got a brighter light and that is flashing SOS so if you're ever stranded somewhere and you need to get help fast SOS one of the things Blue Eddie says is these are waterproof these can be used outside and I mean for the caps that are they're they're made to fit everything kind of fits in tight everything snaps and shut very rugged good handle don't forget you've got a output cell phone charger up on top now my cell phone doesn't work it doesn't charge using an exterior source like that but this does have it well guys i hope you like this short little video of my blue Eddie ac60 and b80 check out the link in the description box below if you're interested in getting one